Canva notebook tutorial, how to create a notebook on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating a notebook on Canva. So let's get into it. Now we are going to be creating a printable notebook and I like to use the Amazon KDP cover calculator to calculate the initial cover because the cover is going to be built on one page and then building the internal pages is very simple. So I'll show you guys that later on, but building our cover can be a bit tricky. So go into the Amazon KDP cover calculator and select your binding type. Then select your interior, the paper you want to use, and then just the direction, the measurement units, and then your trim size. That is the most important thing. Let's say for us, we are building a six by nine inch book. Now, after that, after I've chosen the size of my notebook, I'm going to add the number of pages I want within my notebook. So this, let's say this will have 100 pages. So I can enter that and click on calculate dimensions. Once this has done that, I can go on ahead and click on download template. And then what this will do is that this will create a zip file and this will just upload a PNG and PDF version of the cover that you should be using. Now, if you want to see the full cover sizes, you can find them over here. And these are going to be the cover sizes you're going to use when you insert them into Canva. So go into Canva, click on custom size, and then you're going to insert 9.25 as the height. 9.25 as the height, 12.5 as our width, and then click on create new design. Now, why are we creating a cover that is double in size? Well, the reason for that is obviously you're going to be designing both the front and the back of your cover pages on this. And then you have to include this 0.5 or 0.25 on every side to make sure that any of the printing, so at the corners of the page where the design gets cut up, the printing is never lost so your design is never cut out from the edges now once you've done that you are going to upload the zip file that you just downloaded so upload that png over here and insert it onto your cover once you insert it onto your cover just place it on one corner and if you expand it it should fit perfectly like this it should usually fit perfectly into your sizer if you created your dimensions correctly and your correct dimensions will also vary upon the number of pages. If you have more pages, your book will be wider and your cover page will be wider. So always make sure to enter this dimension that you receive in your KDP book calculator. Once you've done that, I'm going to add a name on the top of my Canva design. And then from here, you can start designing. You can click on the transparency and make the semi-translucent. So it's easier for you to design over it and click on the lock icon just to lock it in place so it doesn't move around when you're designing your book cover. Now for our book cover, I'm going to keep it simple. So I'll just click on background and then click on see all. And I'll just use a bunch of these cute little gradients that we have like this one. And I'm going to expand it all over like so. So once I have expanded my little book cover design, I'm going to click on there and click on send backward just so I have a idea of what our book cover lines are looking like. Now at the bottom or at the spine of my book or notebook, I want to place a line that is going to be, you know, illustrative of that section. So I'm going to go into all and then go into shapes and then just take a simple line from here. I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees and then click on the thickness and then I'm going to increase the line weight and I almost want it to be throughout like this. So once I've done that, I'm going to expand it to the top corner and the bottom corner. And once I've done that, I can click on the line and then change the color. I'm going to make it a pink kind of color. I'll click on the color picker over here and then I'll go for a muted pink like this. So once I've chosen this color, I can see a segregation between my back side and the front side of our book cover. Once I've done that, I can click on the locked photo cover or our template cover and I can move that. So as you guys can see over here, this is currently attached. So I will deattach that and then just place it. And then I can delete the initial template because now I already have these lines as a guide as to where my design should be. Now I can go into the elements and add more decorative elements and then you can click on text. 
let's say I just want to add notebook and then I can click on the style and format that accordingly. So I just want it to say notebook over here. And then after that, I might want to place a circle around it. So I'll just search for circle or oval like this. And then I'll just go into the graphic section to take a nice little illustration. And I'm gonna go with this one, place it behind our text over here. And then I will change the color to match with the rest of our colors like this. Now, once I've done that, I can add more decorative elements. But once you have completed your design, you're going to click on share and then click on download. Once you've done that, download this as a PDF print because this is what you are looking for. You're looking to print this particular notebook. So download that. Now, once you have downloaded your book cover, you can proceed with creating the internal pages. So for the internal pages, go on to Canva and then go into custom size. Now, we're going to enter the individual size, which is going to be six by nine. For these pages, you don't need to include a bleed, even if you see in your book cover calculator, this is just for the cover. For your actual book pages, they are going to be the same size as your regular size that you have picked at, whatever size that might be. Now, some people like to include a 0.25 bleed in these as well. I don't find that necessary, so I don't do it. But if you want, you can do that just to be extra, extra safe. But really, I don't find a purpose in that. So I will just click on create new design. And for our notebook, to create a simple lined page, first, I like to create a main page. So in the name page, what I'm going to do is I am going to take the same background that we used. I'll just search for background over here and I will search for the same image that we used, the same gradient. And you can usually find it in your recents as well. So use the same background that you had and then click on the background and you can reduce the transparency a little and then add a heading, which is going to be this notebook belongs to like this. And then people can write their name. You can add a couple of dashes like that. And then I will just select all of the text and then change the color to a dark pink. So we have this color instead, and then I will just resize this and then add this to the center. Now this will be our first page. After that, I can click on add page. And if I want the same design on my pages, if I want these to be you know, a bit more of a decorative notebook, I can keep the same background. If you want to make it simpler, you can go on ahead and use a empty page and then click on text over here. Click on elements and then click on line. Once you click on line, choose a simple line and then place it right over here expand it till the margins that you want to keep if you want it to be if you want to have more wider margins you can decrease the size of your lines like this if you want to add a note section a you know a different kind of section you can control that as well once you have added a couple of lines i will add a few lines like this and you might be wondering hey these don't look good but don't worry, I'll show you guys how we're going to fix this. Just add the number of lines that you want to have in a individual page, select all of them, and then click on these three dots and click on tidy up. This will space all of your lines together and then just select them together and then place them at the center. Now you can select some more lines that you want to add like this and then place them at the bottom like this. Just like that, I have a lined page. Now, one thing to note is that your lines shouldn't be black. You're going to go into the color of the lines and then select a gray color because the lined pages that you usually see, they are not lined with black ink. They're lined with gray ink. Once you've done that, you can go into the bottom right and open up the grid view and then just click on duplicate page and then you can duplicate your pages. So once you duplicate them like this, you're just going to select them again and then just duplicate as many times as required. So go on ahead, select your pages, go into your grid view, and then just go on ahead and paste more and more like this. So in this way, once you have completed your 100 pages, you will be able to download the internal section of your book and then your notebook will be ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.